You can turn in your Bible to 2 Kings chapter 6. 2 Kings chapter 6. A exhortation for you out there, friends of the ministry. 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 15 through 17. And when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, an host compassed the city both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? He thought that they were outnumbered. If you're a friend of this ministry, a lot of times you feel outnumbered by all the voices of dissent out there. All those people that hate not only this ministry, but just Bible-believing Christianity, the, the new birth, um, the life that changes after salvation. And you feel, you know, we get browbeat so much you start to feel kind of, oh boy, we're kind of in the minority. Verse 16, and he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. We'll get back to that. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. Okay? Um, it's talking about the heavenly host there, obviously. And, you know, if you're saved, you, you understand the, the King James Bible, you understand that the Lord and all the angels are on our side. We are on the side of right. But uh, I just want to make an observation um, about King James Video Ministries and the friends of King James Video Ministries. Um, they that be with us are more than they that be with them. Do you realize that the voices of dissent that come against me and attack me personally and all the outlandish lies that they tell about me, um, there's probably less than 100 channels on YouTube that attack me. And most of them have very few subscribers at all. Very few. There's not that many that actually attack us. Uh, we have a lot more subscribers here on this channel. A lot more people follow this ministry than follow the enemies of this ministry. And the enemies of this ministry, the only way that they can get views very many views, is if they attack me. Uh, why? Because there's a lot more that stand with me. Because I stand by the book. And I don't compromise. And my enemies know that. That's why they attack me. But they want to browbeat you, and they will come after you, and they'll say, why are you listening to Brian? Why is he this? Why, you know, he's, he's finished. He's this. Oh, not even close. Okay? Um, one thing that I've learned in the last year, 2018, uh, a lot of my ministry, I've been on the defensive, okay? Um, people come out and they say, you know, you're teaching a false uh, gospel or something like this, and I have to kind of fall back and say, well, no, let me explain things. Um, you're teaching, you're, you're not saying uh, what repentance is correctly or whatever else, you know, and I, and I have to fall back. And I keep falling back to a defensive posture in this ministry trying to say and, and and because I love people, you see? And and I and I try to explain things and try to and I make another video and I get people contacting me and I mean there, there's so much contact here that you're not even seeing. All right. I get letters, I get I get I do get emails, I get private messages, I get I people contact me all different types of ways. I, I talk to people on Skype, um, I've talked to people on the phone, uh, you know, I've talked to people locally. Okay, that's again, you know, that's another lie that's put out about me that I'm just in the wilderness and I never even talk to anybody locally. I talk to a lot of people. Okay, um, whatever. But, uh, you know, people just make assumptions about me um, based on lies. But the fact of the matter is there's an awful lot of people that support this ministry. An awful lot of people that agree with this ministry and with you out there if you, you know, stand by the Word of God and the things that we stand for here at King James Video Ministries. There's a lot of us, and uh, that's why the enemy is so scared, by the way. Uh, another reason why they attack me so just viciously is because not only do they know I'm effective, they see the movement growing, and they don't want the movement to grow. They want to smash this movement and keep it down. Um, it is a known fact that YouTube has definitely cut my numbers over the years. I've had so many people tell me that, the kind of quality stuff I put out. Um, high definition and, and a lot of the graphics and music and everything else that I, you know, 
put into, into some of my bigger productions, people said, you know, I should be well up over 100,000 subscribers and whatever else. And even non-monetized, I'm talking about. You know, if I was monetized, sold my soul to the devil, well, you know, of course, you know, they'd probably try to promote me then. But I'd probably get a helpful in, hints about, you know, what not to say, to, you know, to get more subscribers and whatnot. But uh, that, that doesn't work with me, never has. Uh, I'm not going to have lost people promote me. It's just as simple as that. But just as a, as a way of encouragement out there and a challenge to you, if you're a friend of this ministry, uh, let's not spend any time or much time anymore on the defensive. Um, let's start to be a offensive. Let's start to go out and attack. Okay? We have already answered the, the attacks on biblical repentance, um, the changed life that comes after genuine conversion, um, you know, the King James Bible, defense of the King James Bible is God's perfect word. It's not just a translation that's good, you know, the race receptus is actually what's perfect. No, no, no. This is God's book right here. Um, you know, all the different things uh, that, that we stand for as Bible-believing Christians. Um, let's not make apologies for it anymore. Let's not defend our position anymore. Let's get out there and preach to the lost, okay? Um, I'm doing something a lot more. Uh, I'll go to secular videos and I'm just, use it as an opportunity to witness, you know. Um, go on in there and just simply say, you know, uh, here's how to know how to get to heaven. You don't have to write anything more than that. Post a link to my salvation message or some of the other messages where I'm talking about the gospel, how somebody can be saved. Post it. You say, well, Brother Brian, I'm a little bit afraid to, to you know, witness to people and think, okay, then don't you witness to them per se. You can use your channel and whatever, you can remain anonymous, put my face there. Put me out there on the front line. That's why I'm here. That's why people support this ministry. I made that decision many years ago that I would be the guy out front. And uh, I'm the one that gets attacked and the one that gets people just, you know, whatever. Oh, that's fine. That's why I'm here. So uh, use YouTube as a as a great witnessing opportunity. Just go 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 to videos, go to whatever you can. Post links to my videos. Uh, let's get the word out. See, Google with their algorithms and all their artificial intelligence and whatever else, they can just do keyword type of things and they can make my videos basically disappear off of recommended lists. And I can't again, I can't tell you how many times people say, yeah, I have clicked the notifications thing that I get notified when you put out a new video. And I don't hear from you in about a month and I go in and I see all these new videos and YouTube didn't even contact me. Yeah, I've had comments, multiple comments deleted off my channel. I never did that. I never come, you know, never deleted those comments. People tell me what they are. So I didn't delete that. Um, you know, again, I talked about this years ago, 80,000 views. I saw 80,000 views disappear in one night from my channel. Um, just happens all the time. So then how do you get around that? Well, you do kind of a grassroots type of a thing where you say, okay, let's promote King James Video Ministries the old-fashioned way, by word of mouth. Go on out there. I mean, it's an opportunity for you to witness. You go, just any kind of videos, popular videos or whatever else, you don't even have to watch the, the garbage or whatever else. Just go in there and say, uh, you know, Brother Philip Newton, he, I like what he does. He'll say, time is running out, you know, whatever, and then he puts the link, you know, to my salvation message, a salvation message, you know. And they go there and they take them right through the scriptures. Uh, beautiful music playing and things and nice animation. There you go. Takes them right through it. How to get saved. And I've had a lot of people get saved from that message, by the way. So do that. Um, I really think that that would be a great idea. Go next to Romans chapter 8, verse 31. I'll tie the two verses together here. Two passages there in 2 Kings chapter 6 about they that be with us are more than they that be with them. So that's Old Testament. Well, let's go to the New Testament, Pauline epistles. Romans chapter 8, verse 31. <coughs> Excuse me. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? They that be with us are more that they are more than they that be with us them. There's a lot more of us than there are of them. They just make a lot more noise for now. Let's start making some noise. Let's tell people 
that the salvation that we preach and teach as Bible-believing Christians, the salvation that we preach and teach is going to help you get rid of those sins in your life. The Holy Spirit of God will come upon you and help you to get victory over sin. That's why my enemies hate this, again, because they don't want victory over the sin. They're, they're in darkness, and they love the darkness that they're in. They don't come to the light. They're in unbelief. They claim to have belief, but they're, you know, are you kidding me? Yeah, right. We need to preach the new birth. We need to testify and say, Jesus changed my life when I got saved. It wasn't some kind of a thing of, well, I've tried this and I've tried that. No, it's not about trying. It's about Jesus Christ changed my life supernaturally. And now I can relate to this book. This book that a lot of people say is old and archaic and they don't understand it. It's Elizabeth, Eliz, Elizabethan English and whatever. You know, <coughs> excuse me. Um, you can relate to this book when you get saved. The Lord opens your understanding. That's what we preach and teach. A changed life. You understand? All things are become new. Right there. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. So, I just want to encourage you, because I know a lot of you out there are really getting depressed and really getting down and just thinking, oh boy, it's just, you know, this world's getting so bad. Um, as the world gets darker, we shine brighter. Those of us that are saved, those of us that are truly born again, have, that have experienced supernatural spiritual rebirth, um, those of us that have been through that, we can shine as a light to people that are out there in darkness and say, you don't have to continue in those sins that you're in. We're not sinlessly perfect. I've never preached that. People lie about me all the time. So, then we were teaching sinless perfection. I've never preached that. I have a sermon against sinless perfection. All right? Uh, let's not worry. Let's not worry about the lies anymore. Let's just bring out the truth that these people hate. Let's get on the offensive and not be on the defensive anymore. They come out and they say, well, you're teaching such and such about repentance. Yeah, whatever. Goodbye. Um, you know, just zero tolerance for these heretics. Just delete, block. Okay, I'd like to tell you how to get saved. Are you a sinner? Do you want to have a new life? Okay, so uh, that's going to be it for this video. I really just wanted to do this real quick little one to just encourage you out there, friends of this ministry. Um, let's take this fight to the next level. Thank you for watching.